This video is in by no means clickbaity or anything like that. About 45 minutes ago, I received an email from WooCommerce. In fact, they emailed everyone that has given them their email address. It's something where you have to actually give them your email address. They don't just have your email address. So they have my email address and a bunch of other people's and they sent an email out saying there's a security vulnerability in WooCommerce and you got to update it. Let me show you you that email. So here's the email and it's basically saying WooCommerce, all prior versions of WooCommerce, not just one, all of them have this vulnerability as well as WooCommerce blocks. And I made a video on WooCommerce blocks last year. So they all need to be updated and it's quite urgent. Uh, there's a link here to take you over to the blog. I went to the blog and I found this article which just went up, or I think it just went live today because the updates for patching this vulnerability went out to all WooCommerce stores today. However, if you've had WooCommerce before, WooCommerce store, you know, it's usually not a great idea to update whenever there's an update out in case there's an issue. I mean, this is your business. However, this is different. It's a security vulnerability. So my stores and I have a bunch of them and I have store managers that manage them. We left them all on uh, WooCommerce 5.4. 5.5 recently came out. I don't like to update right away. I want to give it a week or two. And so, but this is a security notice. So I logged in myself instead of waiting for my store managers to do it. I logged in and made sure to update all of my stores because I don't want there to be an issue. And like I said, I don't know if this is serious or how serious this is. It's obviously serious enough to warrant an email being sent out to everyone that they have an email for. But the reason I wanted to make this video, and this is not a pretty topic, the reason I made this video is because I know they don't have everyone's email. People give fake emails. People don't give them their email, which is fine. But then you lose out on security notifications like this that might be important for you. So you can go to their website and take a look at this blog article if you want. It doesn't have the details of this vulnerability. It just says that they want to give people time to update. And I'm sure different security websites will have details on this vulnerability over the next day or two. Like I said, this could be nothing, but I mean, heck, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So if you are like me and rather be safe than sorry, then go ahead, log into your WooCommerce stores, click on that update button, maybe make a backup uh, as well, just in case there's any issues that you may experience. Uh, but that's there, that's there. For those of you that stayed this long, uh, I haven't really talked about this on the channel, uh, but I have been hard at work for the last 12 months developing a WooCommerce alternative. And I'll have more information out on that as we approach November. I hope to launch it in November and it's going to be pretty spectacular. I've been talking about it in the WP Crafter Facebook group, little bits and pieces here or there. I'm really excited about that. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you think it might save your WooCommerce website and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.